Honor Tynes, an artist based in Los Angeles, is using his art to make statements about wealth, appearance and identity. His art is known for its variety and directness, taking inspiration from architecture, movies, music, sports and books. He uses this viewpoint to show traditional social customs in a new light, focusing on how important it is to show people of color enjoying leisure and luxury. Honor Titus' journey to success is remarkable because he didn't have any formal art training and grew up in a tough neighborhood in Brooklyn. His mom was from Haiti and his dad was Black Puerto Rican, but wasn't very involved in his life. Titus went to Catholic and Christian schools, played basketball and tried to stay out of trouble, but it wasn't always easy. As a kid, he would often visit the Metropolitan Museum of Art, sometimes even sneaking in. He developed a love for paintings, like Before Dinner by Bernard. From Williamsburg Bridge by Hopper and Youth Playing in the Pipes of Pan by Loeffler. Titus briefly attended Pace University but left to start his band, Cerebral Ballsy. He never went to art school, sometimes that still bothers him. His band did well, playing with big names like The Strokes and Black Flag and traveling around the world. However, he left the band in 2016 as he lost interest. During this time, he was drawn to the works of authors like Jean Genet and Arthur Rimbaud, and musicians like Lou Reed and John Cale. He moved to Los Angeles and started working with artist Raymond Pettibon, who became a mentor and guide for him. Titus knows the world he paints about from his own experiences. He admits to having been a troubled youth, which is why he believes Pettibon took him under his wing. Pettibon introduced him to various books and showed him what it means to be a dedicated artist. Titus' studio is in an old, dusty warehouse in Los Angeles. He's very private and rarely lets people visit his workspace, which he considers almost sacred. Despite no formal training, Honor Titus started showcasing his paintings in 2020, thanks to the artist Henry Taylor. Since then, Titus' career has taken off, with his work being featured in various galleries and now part of collections at the Museum of Contemporary Art Los Angeles and the National Museum of Art at Duke University. Titus's first auctioned work, Linton Balwer Jazz Radio, sold for over triple its high estimate in 2021. But he remains grounded despite his success. As he said, it's been such a whirlwind, I just look up and keep going. Despite his rapid rise in the art world, Titus remains humble and focused on his art. While many young black artists are addressing racial injustice in their work, Titus takes a different approach. His paintings depict seemingly everyday scenes, but they carry a subtle social critique. This subtlety is intentional as Titus wants to guide the conversation through his art, allowing the viewers to connect the dots. His latest show, Advantage Inn, at the Gagosian Gallery in Beverly Hills, includes 14 paintings and a sculpture of a tennis court. 
in his 2023 painting Prosperity, Titus shows a black ballboy against a deep blue background with the Rolex crown logo. The boy's arm is raised, suggesting victory. Other paintings show a tennis player's powerful arm swing and a player resting between games. While these pieces seem to look back at simpler times, they also connect to the present and challenge viewers' expectations. Titus's earlier works show faceless figures in simple city scenes suggesting loneliness. These paintings also show an idealized view of Americans' past. More recent pieces explore ideas of class, belonging and heritage, focusing on formal events like debutant balls. Titus's paintings are bold and immediate, combining repeated patterns, rich colors, and detailed elements. He is influenced by the French symbolist group Les Nabis, Fairfield Porter, the Chicago Images Group, and many other artists who focused on modern urban life and advertising aesthetics. The exhibition in Gagosian features a tennis court installation with artificial turf and painted lines, inviting viewers to imagine themselves as players in Titus's game. However, instead of a net, there is an ornate iron barrier, which fits the decorative elements in Titus's work. <laughs> 